Tonawanda native Richard Mann escaped the Clinton, Clinton Correctional Facility along with fellow inmate David Sweat on June 6. For almost three weeks, the two managed to elude authorities in the woods of upstate New York. Matt, though, was gunned down by Border Patrol agents on June 26. Tonight, a Niagara County woman who wrote letters to Matt while he was in lockup is speaking out. She says she saw a different side of the convicted killer. News 4's Dave Graber has her story. Dave? Well, Donna Jackie, at the height of the manhunt for Richard Matt and David Sweat, a local woman had an interest that admittedly wasn't shared by many. That woman contacted News 4, saying she wanted to show a different side of Richard Matt. She also asked that we use the nickname that her husband gave her, Bonjo. I feel lost. Richard Matt may have been a horrific killer, but to Bonjo, Rick, as she called him, was a dear friend. You know, I sent Valentine's card, Father's Day card, birthday cards, Christmas cards. You know, he, he was like family. Bonjo's husband met Matt on the honor block at Clinton Correctional Facility three years ago. They would cook meals together or pass meals together, and if I got sent my husband something, he'd share it with Rick. That correspondence went on for the past two and a half years. Monthly letters, occasional packages. The final letter she received from Matt arrived June 5th, just hours before he and David Sweat would be the first to break out of the maximum security prison. No Rick. more letter. Thank you for the package and, you know, hope to, you know, See you when I get out. The next day, Bonjo came across the unthinkable. It was on the internet. Two guys escaped from Clinton. I wrote all down, and there's Rick's face. And I said, Oh my God, what the hell did you do? That question will go unanswered. 24 hours later, agents showed up at her work and demanded years' worth of letters. They wanted to see if there was anything in there that would indicate what he was planning. The only one they didn't take was among the first Matt had sent to her Niagara County home. I've been in prison 14 years now. I'm serving a 25 to life sentence. Please write if you're interested. I will respond, Rick. That letter may have meant little to Bonjo before because another was always coming behind it. Then she got the call. Rick had been found. He was dead. I start shaking. I start, you know, I got real quiet and tears started foreman I came home and I bawled my eyes out <laughs> I mean I loved him but I loved him as a friend you know a good friend and you know now it's gone well Donna Jackie she says that she's actually been in contact with authorities about getting those letters back but she's not all that hopeful because the investigation she says and is expected to take months a lot of questions here about this mm -hmm. relationship sure one is, did he give her any indication in his letters that he was planning this break? Yeah, it was one of the questions that I asked, especially like right out at front, knowing that he had corresponded with her for years. And if there was anything that he said in any of those letters, especially the one that she received the day before mm -hmm. he broke out. I mean, we're talking about she getting a letter and then he breaking out in just a couple of hours later. But that is also why she said he's never said anything to me in any letter. And one of the reasons why also she was so surprised when she was reading that story on the Internet happened to scroll down and see the picture there of not only David Sweat, but her friend Richard Matt. She was yeah. very, very surprised. Amazing story. Thank you, Dave.